Uh, first about his style, uh, a lot of the young new wrestlers are afraid of wrestling him because he's wild and he's crazy and they don't know uh, which animal is going to be to the in, into the ring that, that, that very night that he's going to wrestle. They don't know if he's, he's going to actually wrestle or, or fight or just go crazy and bite or, or scratch or yell or beat up uh, someone in the first row. He's like out of control. He's like, a, it reminds me of Bruiser Brody. I never wrestled in that era, but I remember watching Bruiser Brody and I don't know if he was a nice guy or not because I didn't really meet him. I I met Hannibal a few times and I like yeah he's 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 got that personality where he doesn't very so, so socialize with anyone you know he's very uh, on his own bubble by himself in his own corner um, he doesn't like to shake hands um, doesn't like to say hi to the boys that much and uh, he's pretty out of control most of the time. I've, I've got a kind of a funny story about him. Uh, uh, he came to England uh, working for All Star Promotion, Brian Dixon, and uh, we were touring and we we're doing like wrestling towns and we we're doing also like camps, which is like the Butlin Butlins camps, which is like uh, eight to twelve thousand people regroup on a resort on a vacation and you have like buildings there and you have wrestling there, you have the singers, all kinds of uh, activities. <coughs> So sometimes uh, the, the boys, they like to go out at night and they like to go to in the bars on the camp. And so Devin, uh, Hannibal, he, he, he kind of likes the girls a lot too. You know? And um, when, he, when he drinks, he, he goes even berserker, like more berserk, more crazy, more like an animal. And he's, he's kind of aggressive, not aggressive in a way that he won't shake a girl, but I mean aggressive by he's not going to wait that long before he makes a move to talk to a girl. So uh, he's in the bar and uh, the boys are there and I kind of feel like uh, it's, it's going to turn into a rumble soon. So uh, I'm feeling like I, I'm going to go to my room and I don't I don't want to be part of problems or anything. And then... Um, I heard the story the next day that Devin's going to, to the girls and the girls are saying, well, I'm, I'm with her and I'm with her. And, and Devin came up to me and he said, uh, no car went out last night. It wasn't good at all, man. So we're all lesbians, you know. But uh, but the boys, they, 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 they figured out that, that Devin was such like an animal. He was approaching the girls, so they had to make an excuse that they were with another girl. So they, they wanted it to be with this animal. So uh, that's one of the story I had about him, you know, there's so many, he's, he's like, he's wild.